Okay, so... Right. Okay, so... Um, what if I feel very, very keen to sort of help out in politics? It's a very, very interesting uh, thing. And then I do, and then it's like they're trying to suck me in to do more and more stuff. You know, like, uh, can you, you know, can you sort of like come yeah. with me door to door and can you do it by yourself door to door and can you sort of like uh, make sure everything goes well and can you do the admin and can you do the photocopying <laughs> for the campaign and can you sort of proofread all of our documents as well and <laughs> so you sort of say saying yes to everything and you're getting a, a mounting pile of things to do like what do you do and if you feel quite passionate that you want to help out I think it's really um, thing to do with uh, a situation like that, I mean, let's say I'm really called, I really want to help my local candidate out, and I think, it, you know, God's calling me to, rather than sit at home and transcend, to actually take some action. Um, one of the things I would do, I'm, I would hopefully be in relatively good, um, sp have a good spiritual connection before I'm doing this, uh, and then suddenly it's like they want more and more out of me. Uh, and they're giving me more and more things to do. But one of the things I sort of see is that if you do, if you've got a high, if you are an advanced spiritual seeker and you do help uh, any cause, it's very, very valuable because you'll be, I mean, if you think of Dr. Hugh Len, if you imagine a saint forgiving and clearing everything that's going on in a campaign, uh, you're adding power to the campaign. And so, the vibration of the campaign is going to increase. You're forgiving the campaign guy, you're forgiving all the angry people in the room, <laughs> you know, uh, you're blessing them, uh, you're, you're sending them peace, uh, you're, you're holding everything in light, you're being in the observer, uh, you're feeling out your feelings. So you're actually, what you're doing is actually, you're like a little, a little sponge mopping up all the negativity in the campaign and the vibration of the campaign is going to increase and its power so it will it will actually start to attract because you're like you're like they're like a little sponge taking out all the anger and resentments and all the all the um, let's say there's dishonesty and you're sort of transcending this dishonesty and doing all your prayers around well you know this guy's actually taking the campaign money to buy sandwiches so it's like so you have to like forgive them you know and or you know and transcend like you know and it seems like the campaign manager is turning a blind eye to these sandwiches this so so actually you know, i see the value i mean you might think the value is in like doing the photocopying for the campaign and sort of helping them be more efficient but i think that i would say the greater value is actually transcending and or adding your consciousness level to the campaign and actually transcending everything that's going on this means that the whole campaign and all the people in there are going to go to a higher vibration. And this is going to attract miracles, because the higher the vibration of the campaign, it'll, attract, it'll have more power and it'll attract more and more good things. You know, the right people will come to help. The, uh, the inspiration for the copy and the messages will get more inspiring. It'll go, for, it'll, it'll go more from um, a controlling politician to Luther what's his name, Luther King or whatever, anyway. So it'll get more inspiring, more like Gandhi or something, and it really pull in the people and the hearts of the people, whereas, you know, the lower vibration campaigns would really be trying to attract uh, more of the base things, like we're going to get more money for, for sandwiches if we get into power, whatever it is, you know. So, so I do think it's very, very valuable. So then if you feel called, then... I think going in, I think it's, you know, one, I mean, the way I contextualize things is more, it's like vibration and power. I mean, yes, doing the photocopying for the campaign is a very important practical thing. But for me, the, doing the transcending work and transcending everything going on in the campaign and allowing the whole campaign to go to a higher vibration, that power attracts miracles for the campaign. And is actually, I would say, I would actually see that, I mean, I'm making a, a sort of a funny joke about it, like, is, is it going to be the photocopying for the campaign, or is it like you transcending and adding a higher vibration to the campaign? I mean, it's not necessarily that black and white, but I sort of see the power that you bring as a spiritual seeker is going to be, is going to make a big difference. 
Um, now, but there is a there is a thing that needs to be. Um, I you know this is my take, and people can disagree, and that's fine. I actually think it's really important for me to keep the highest vibration going, and not to allow um, things to happen so my vibration drops too much. I'm doing too much that it's having a very adverse effect on my spiritual vibration, my connection, my level of consciousness. So I would start to say no to things if my vibration is significantly going to go down and I need more time, or I'll have an exit strategy, or I might even, I mean, Hawkins does talk about critical factors in power versus force. So it might be like, well, I, like, I just like, you know, sitting and meditating at home and, and forgiving the world and meditating, but I feel drawn to help this cause in the world. But if you want to like, if you want to do the minimum, then you just see where you can add your critical consciousness and support and then leave and let, leave, let the more donkey work. Or you can help the campaign from afar without being practically involved like uh, transcending, cancelling, placing into God, but you don't have to actually be there. The other thing that I really, really like from Hawkins, uh, if you can do muscle testing, I mean, this would be uh, fantastic, is the thing, but you can intuit this as well. And I love the thing, and, and I'm sure this will give people, I think for politics and for global peace, uh, I remember hearing that Hawkins had something like a Course in Miracles group, and they, and they would muscle test, like, which political leader um, to pray for, which would make the ma would have the maximum benefit for the, for, for global peace, and it was like you know leaders who are like so low in vibration. There's no point in praying for them. <laughs> like you know, if like this guy is like a crocodile mm. and is like at mm. calibration five, um, and is like you know chewing the heads off people, it's like actually, and you've got another political leader who's just under two hundred but it's nearly there, but needs a little bit of a boost to go up, and he's got a lot of power. And you've got another guy there at Calibration 5 destroying the world. It's actually, it comes out with muscle testing, it's better to pray for the guy who can just tip over with a bit of prayer mm -hmm. than actually like spending your, the rest of your life trying to get someone at level consciousness 5 up to 200, up to integrity. So that was really interesting. And then you can calibrate, like actually, I think it was a Chinese leader, his heart chakra was just under. So everyone in the group was praying just for his heart chakra. And that came out as being of maximum service for global peace. And so, so you intuit, like, okay, these are the political leaders. Or if I just pray for this guy's integrity and his heart to open, and I focus my prayers on him, that's probably going to be the best use uh, of my time even potentially, I mean, I'm not, I'm not against, you know, doing the photocopying for the campaign. I mean, you can pray for him and you do the photocopying at the same time. So that, that's also, and sometimes boring jobs, you can do both quite easily. Mm. If it's like, uh, then if it's something where you have to learn a lot of new things, like learn this new computer system so we can log in. Uh, it's got three, it's 300 page manual, so that makes it hard to sort of pray and learn the 300 page manual for the new political system they're using. So you sort of like, you know, just praying for a miracle, how you, how you can be used. I mean, I tend to like transcending, but sometimes I could be called into, and then I, one of my things would be how can I pray in the campaign centre, who do I pray for, what do I transcend, and I think that, you know, you'll see what's, it'll come up to you, what, what you need to work on. That's already, even if I'm doing the photocopying and praying for everyone in there, I would see that as great value for the campaign because of the, the vibration of the campaign. You know, you might pray for someone who's stealing the, you know, stealing the expenses and buying sandwiches, and they may suddenly leave the campaign, you know, and so, yeah, as you've sort of done all that forgiveness, they may suddenly get like an enlightenment, like actually it's not good to use campaign money to buy sandwiches and they might leave or they might reform and stop doing that. So lots of mystical miracles may happen um, in the campaign. So I think it is good. I mean, I would, yeah, I mean, I, for myself, I'd probably do the minimum and then transcend from afar, but that's my personal preference, then sort of be in there. But sometimes you're called to go in there, but then I would probably like go, well, God, can I be in there for the minimum for the critical stuff and then leave and then pray for it from afar? 
And I sometimes God might say, no, you have to just stay in there and just pray, in which case I'll begrudgingly have to do that uh, if he feels that's the, the right thing to do. So it's a great question, uh, and it's very similar to what I'd say with companies as well. You know, if you stay in a company, you are transcending and helping that company go up in levels of consciousness. So thank you for that. Okay. All right.